This is my pre-algebra course. Today you're going to take test number two. If you didn't do the practice test from the last class, do those tests before watching this video. So here's the test. Before you uh, take the test, uh, let's review how uh, you're going to grade the test. So remember, you have to put your name, the date, the course, and a title for your test. If you don't do these things, then you would lose points. So uh, also, you would subtract one point in every problem where you didn't write the problem number, and you'd lose a point if you don't uh, circle the problem number. You'd lose a point in every problem where you don't write an equal sign, and you'd lose two points in every problem where it was necessary to show your work, but you either didn't show the work or you did the work incorrectly. Subtract one point in every problem where the answer is not rectangled. Subtract a point in every problem where the answer is either wrong or not written. Subtract one point in every problem where the answer requires a specific unit, like feet, pounds, or seconds, but in this class there's, there's not going to be any units, so don't worry about that. So uh, just be aware of how the test is going to be graded. And there are 25 questions. Each question is worth 4 points for a total of 100 points. And that's basically it. So here's the test. So you can take screenshots of all the pages at once if you want. It's probably best to take screenshots of two pages at a time. Whoops, sorry. So clear off your, your desk or your table. You should have no help from anyone. You shouldn't have a textbook or a computer out. Close your computer. You don't need a calculator for this test. And uh, don't use a calculator. And uh, you should finish the test in between uh, one hour and two hours. Uh, but if you finish faster, that, faster than an hour, that's okay. But you should, uh, you should probably finish in uh, less than two hours. And you should use a timer, have, have your timer out. And so go ahead and uh, take the test, stop this video, and when you're done, we'll talk about how to uh, grade your test. All right, we're back. So uh, here's the answers. Take a screenshot of that. And go ahead and grade your test. When you come back, we'll talk about how to interpret your, your score. All right, we're back. So if you got an, uh, a 90 to 100, that means you, you know the material really well. If you got uh, 80 to an 89, that means you know the material well, but you have some minor issues to work on. And if you scored 70 to 79, that means you know the material, but you have some major issues that you need to work on. And if you scored anything lower than a 70, that means that you probably didn't study for the test. 99% of the time, it just means you didn't study for the test. Again, you need to take these tests seriously, study for the tests, use the practice tests, go back to all the, uh, the classes and, and do practice problem after practice problem after practice problem after practice problem. Most of the time, students just don't do enough practice problems. you got to do enough practice problems to the point where you're absolutely sure that you know how to do the problems, and you didn't do that. So that's why you didn't score well. So don't complain to me. Don't complain to your parents. Don't complain to anybody. It's your fault 99% of the time. So uh, hopefully you scored well. If you did, I'm proud of you. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. You're not really getting much out of this course, so... There's really no point in uh, continuing unless you're going to uh, start to take the course seriously. So um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next class.